let's hope that I don't forget certain stuff in certain levels from here on out. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. For the sake of saving coins, like instead of having to go back to worlds to play the Lost World levels, yeah, I'm gonna do them as I go and I'm probably gonna regret this because these levels kick so many people's booties. <laughs> But I'm gonna try it. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, the level's over here, and not, but first I'm gonna go over to the Monkey Museum here. Uh, when you pay Clubba, you don't have to pay him again for in each world, obviously, because you know you only you have a limited amount of boin bonus coins that you can get. And I can't click through this text, can I? <laughs> I'm gonna have to let it scroll naturally. Can I click through this text now? Okay, I shouldn't sing the song. <laughs> and Cranky's breaking the fourth wall. Dang it! You're gonna cause the universe to implode. <laughs> Ridiculously cheap, huh? Well, let's see the prices, I suppose. Probably Jungle Jinx. Hopefully it's free. If not, I'm gonna... Just skip all because I'm I'm still trying to conserve coins and make sure I can save my game as needed. Oh come on, everyone's too. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, these are the names of all the levels in the Lost World and Animal Antics. Oh my God, that one. That one's gonna be the death of me when I get to it. But I'm not gonna buy any of these hints right now. I'm just gonna get over to the level and hope I find everything on my first run through it. Otherwise, I will deeply regret this. Jungle Jinx, let's go. Oh boy. By the way, this game has really awesome music overall. I don't think I mentioned that once throughout the entire walkthrough. So we've got some wheels here which can squish you off the edges and make you lose Kongs, but they're super, super bouncy, which is the gimmick of the level. The, 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 le the levels in Donkey Kong Country games are very gimmicky in general. Uh, this one especially, well maybe maybe 3 is a bit more gimmicky than 2, but 2 is definitely more gimmicky than 1 overall. And I like gimmick level design, that, you know, that it has like some sort of theme to it. And oh, please, please don't squish me. Wait, how do I get... Oh, well, I guess that's how you get it. Oh, jeez! Cutlass, that is a new enemy and you can only hit him when he's got his sword stuck in the ground by jumping on him or uh, cartwheeling into his back. And he, did I, did we encounter these enemies before? Those porcupine enemies, those are spinies. Yeah, they're actually named spinies. They're very similar to their spiny counterparts in Mario games, go figure. <laughs> um, why are you there? I feel something is there, something is hidden there. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know why, because th that zinger just seems too easy to avoid. Keep holding right, dear lord. <laughs> and here's Flitter being as helpful as ever, but I must time it with bananas. Oh jeez, I almost slipped off the edge there. Checkpoint! I'm not doing too bad at this, I suppose, but... I think the second half is a lot crazier than the first half, oh god. There's different variations of those cutlass enemies there. Uh, some of them actually pull their swords off faster and then... Look at Dixie there, she's stuck in her animation. <laughs> I think that could be an emulation error or something like it. But anyway, the cutlass enemies are a, a thing that you gotta look out for depending on their color. Like, you gotta make sure that they don't... Gotta, gotta watch how they stick their swords in the ground as a pattern. It's just something you gotta pay attention to as you go. I'm over-explaining things again here, obviously. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> I guess I need the power of bounciness to get over that. Um... Have mercy! <laughs> oh, no. I gotta time this. Uh, uh, I definitely can't time it while I'm under the thing, and I can only take one more hit. Oh, jeez, scared to move. Wait, what the? Oh, I guess I need a partner to get that. I feel I've already missed a bonus level, though, somewhere. Uh, cannot cartwheel those, or helicopter spin those. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Those yellow ones, those, um... Uh, yellow clobbers there, they knock bananas out of you when they hit you. Uh, like in bunches of ten. Uh, uh oh. 
Ah, I see, I need to use the barrel to kill him if I had it. But I... Did I miss stuff? Because I could have swore there was a bonus level in this. Well, that's what happens if you don't have enough height to get the thing. And... Hmm... That was a lot easier than I thought it was, but... I definitely feel like I missed something. Oh, 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 oh! See those bananas down there? Ah! I think they're leading to something. I'm to blind jump! Yeah! Bonus! And I will destroy them all if at all possible. Wait, what? Oh, I see. You're actually supposed to. Good lord. <laughs> um. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, crapper. So that's how you get the Donkey Kong coin. Uh oh. Can I go back? I think I can go back. Yes. Okay. Whew. And they give me, give me a Donkey Kong barrel right off the bat. I was going to say. How do you destroy them all? Because you can't destroy the zingers without some sort of, you know, throwing thing. And you can't throw monkeys at it because it, the monkey will just get skewered and yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Start select. And voila! 100%. I guess that bonus area is the only one in the level. So, back to the Crocodile Cauldron I go, and... Red Hot Ride! Start! Uh, this level is kind of puzzling to some on their first run through the game, because there's no indication as to how these balloons work whatsoever. I mean, there's, there's an arrow there, but as, as far as you can tell, it just looks like you're supposed to use the, the balloons and, you know, like either cartwheel jump or a helicopter spin across, but no, as you're on the balloon, you can actually control the balloon just by pressing D-pad. See that? I'm pressing right, and I'm not moving forward, but I am moving... I mean, I'm, the character's not moving forward on the balloon, but I'm moving the balloon with the character, so to speak. It's, it's not an obvious thing, and it got some people stuck in the past, but once you know how it's done, this level obviously becomes a whole lot easier. And you gotta use these steam slash smoke trails to get your balloon up. And ooh, there's Rambi. Haha! <laughs> oh, get out of here. <laughs> Aha! Take that. And I can jump on zingers with Rambi. You don't stand a chance against me and my rhinoceros. And I want that coin desperately. Okay, maybe not that desperately. <laughs> Gently nick. Oh, actually that would have worked even if I didn't nick the zinger. <laughs> it looked like I collected the coin just before hitting the zinger. Alright. Must... Uh oh Now things are getting complicated. <laughs> well, this would be a little bit harder if I didn't have Rami because I'd actually have to let the balloon drift down lower and then dash over to the other steam jet as best I can, but since I can just kill off the zingers along the way... You know what, I want that O, oh, just for the sake of collecting things. Yeah, I don't have to collect them, but I just feel like collecting it. It's the joy of gaming. Oh boy, long ride, long ride, oh god, oh god. Nah, we're gonna make it. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell, this, this would be an absolute brain boggler to those playing this game and don't know how to how the balloons work because you'd be stuck right here. You couldn't cartwheel jump or manage to get across there with a helicopter spin either way because you're just you're just not gonna make it. It's too far away and yeah. Go and Diddy's floating in midair. That happens in the actual game too, so I don't think that's any sort of emulation error. Wait wait a second. Just in case. Always check the corners. Ah! <laughs> I thought there was something that I remember there. It was somewhere around that area. Destroy them all! I have no idea how the giant rhino can bounce on a bug. <laughs> it, it's... I don't know, just... Probably shouldn't question that too much. Bananas, that's all I get for that. I took Rambi all that way, 
And all I got is bananas, and I see a secret down there. Can I, like... Yes, I can. Whew. I knew I was able to go through there somehow. Because the other side I knew was blocked off, just from uh, memory. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Must control balloon carefully while collecting stars. Oh, jeez. This is not very time-friendly. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no! Oh, no. Are you serious? Is there any way for me to... I can't reset the thing, can I? Maybe I can, like, cheat this little... No! Oh my god, I did! <laughs> I thought I could land on the balloon with a monkey. <laughs> it actually worked! I thought that the... Oh, wow. Like, I thought I was going to get pulled in the lava or something like that, but nope! That worked out nicely. Alright. See, when you, when you throw a character, you get taken over to wherever they land, but obviously you can't throw them onto a balloon. But I managed to throw the monkey, well, Diddy, you know, <laughs> onto or into the star, and voila! That was a kind of a blind throw, and I would, that wasn't exactly what I was aiming to do. It, it was just a matter of that I got lucky. <laughs> um, wait, what? How do I get that? Do I, do I need another Rambi? <laughs> or was I supposed to carry? A barrel. Oh, I'm supposed to carry that back to get it if I want it. I don't think that's all important, so I'm just gonna skip by that. Um, that's not what I wanted to destroy. I wanted to destroy the lower two ones. So I guess I should probably skip out on that coin. Oh god, this is what I mean about if you don't have Rambi with you, and I don't think it's possible to have him at this point, looking, at, looking back at it, you have to duck your way under stuff and just be very careful. Uh oh, make I'm making the jump now. Oh no! Oh no! My my, my bananas! <laughs> uh, anything down here? I don't trust any low areas anymore. Uh. Oh boy! Oh jeez! <laughs> the pressure is on. Now, while oh, it's moving down, yes. Uh, oh, jeez, no steam to save me. <laughs> Panic. I feel I'm at the end of the level. Must make it. Must be careful. <laughs> okay. This one, I gotta hang low, because I'm going to be pushed into the zinger, as I remember this formation. Start at that banana and keep pressing right. There we go. The bananas are your friend. Though sometimes they misindicate stuff and they aren't your friend, like in certain roller coaster levels I'll t talk about later. Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Oh, I should have aimed for the coin, but whatever. Wait, I've got 52 lives? How did I manage to accumulate that many lives? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think I'm going to end off the part here, because those levels were a lot longer than I expected. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. I can't believe I did it again. I forgot the Donkey Kong coin, so this part's not over. Okay, this time I'm going to try to take... This barrel over to... This is just after the midpoint, by the way. Right over here, where that N is. Because I get the feeling that there's something very... Ah, very well hidden there. Yeah! Yeah! And now this part is done. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.